Hello, hello, my name is Jani. Welcome to my channel. This is a cross stitch channel where I always say where we talk and uh, I'm talking, <laughs> where I am talking, where I talk, ah, where we talk about cross stitch. <laughs> and this time I want to, to talk a little bit about uh, the use of uh, metallic thread in our uh, cross stitch. It's very common in Mirabilia designs, the use of metallic thread to, to bring, you know, this sparkle and, and, and colorful finish to, to our pieces. So I am uh, currently work on this beauty, which is um, fairy flora. And, and I'm, I'm doing um, a conversion in her face and in her hair because representation matters and I'm loving working in this project um, and right now sorry for the noises <laughs> right now I'm I'm stitching uh, her wings and I'm, I'm using different materials because I don't have um, you know the the beads and the metallics that are asking in the pattern but I'm trying to make you know uh, a little uh, conversion or ad adjustment to to my materials you know me I, I always try to to use the materials and the resource that I have in hand uh, using for example this this fabric it's a fabric that I I got here in my city it's a um, like a, a cotton fabric very traditional and it looks like um, linen <laughs> And it's really cheap, and I love to work with this. It's not completely uh, even, but I don't care. <laughs> I love to to dye this fabric, and you know, having this kind of crazy combination. Not so much, but <laughs> you know me, you know me. And I am loving uh, working on this on, on this fairy, and because the the fabric is. Um, 36 38 and uh, i dye this fabric it's a little smaller so it's almost 40 so i'm trying to to put the the beads um i i got this um tiny beads <laughs> so yeah i'm loving it. um in the original the the beads are more like white like pearly white or silvery white but I have these which are more silver than white and I don't care <laughs> I love it I love it I haven't finished the the, the stitches in the in, in the wing so it's look a little weird but um, it's interesting how we can achieve this um, metallic finish to to some pieces or some uh, areas of our stitching using uh, a metallic thread uh, blending with um, a, a DMC or a CXC or you know a regular uh, embroidery uh, thread so in the case of the of the wings I am using you know the, the DMC that it's called for well I actually made um, a change because <laughs> I didn't have the the four, but um, yeah, I'm I'm using one thread of DMC blended with this um, filament by Krynik. Uh, it's number thirty-two, and in order to to achieve, you know, give the 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 wind a certain you know sparkle. <laughs> so I'm loving it, and it, it's so nice, and. I, I'm struggling a little bit, I must confess, because the, the, the fabric is so tiny that all this part, I'm stitching, you know, one over two, and I'm so happy, and I love the way my crosses look. But in the in the wings, I, I am uh, blending one thread of DMC plus the, the filament, and even though the, the filament is really, really thin, 
the, the way that my crosses look, you know, um, they got a little uh, chunky. <laughs> so yeah, but the, 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 the wings look so pretty. I wish you can see in real life how shiny and sparkly they are, but yeah, believe me, <laughs> they look really, really pretty. And I was talking um, in my, my uh, Spanish video, how they are different types of cranic, 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 you know, this, this <laughs> metallic, and you can get, you know, the, the blending filament, which is really, really thin, thin, and the idea is to use this filament um, combined with, with a DMC or with another uh, thread, and there is the, the number four, which is a, a a metallic that you can use and it's it's like equivalent to two threads of DMC perhaps so you can use uh, as it is the, the number four and then we also have the number five the number eight which is also a metallic but it's um, thicker you can see I struggle also in my Spanish video trying to show um, the, the coral one is number uh, four and the green one is number eight so it's thicker and then we have a number uh, 16 which is thicker <laughs> so yeah the, the um, there are different types of, of cranic um, we have also this which is a filament but it's a cord so it's more uh, like tubular, tubular, like, you know, um, it's different that this filament, which is like this, like, um, you know, <laughs> and this one is circular and this is more flat. Yeah, this filament, it's like flat and this is more um, circular something like that <laughs> and there are also um, the the famous um, rainbow gallery which are really really nice to work with and we all love to work with this but it's not always possible to <laughs> to get um, all our projects with with treasure braid so yeah and there are this uh, whisper which is not metallic but it has this really cool effect, you know, like fluffy. <laughs> so yeah, there are also the, the rainbow gallery. And here, for example, in, in Mexico, um, we don't have that many access to, to all the cranic. And we can use, you know, local uh, threads, like uh, this is a, a brand, it's called Iris. And this is another local brand, it's Omega. So they came like the, the DMC metallics. So you have to, to separate the, the floss, but you can use also this type of, of um, flosses and not necessarily you have to, to buy all the, the cranic or, or the rainbow gallery and, you know, you can find uh, some op other options. Um, I also work with Guterman which is a, a brand that I can get here in Mexico. And it's really nice to have all these different options. And sometimes, of course, we have the, mm, 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 let me see, the DMC, the classic and um, <laughs> hateful um, DMC, which are like this, and they are really, really <laughs> tough to work with. And I uh, use, uh, big wax or you know uh, thread conditioner to to work with my metallics sometimes because sometimes I just you know start stitching and pray for the best <laughs> I don't pray but yeah hope for the best <laughs> so yeah and sometimes uh, we can have you know a, a small collection and and different colors but uh, some patterns um, call for a really a specific color so perhaps I, I need this uh, corally uh, pinkish color in metallic and I don't have it so I use one thread of this DMC and one thread of this uh, 
silver. You can use silver or you can use uh, a filament like this, which is like um, opalescent. And, you know, the moment you stitch one thread of DMC blended with a metallic, you can achieve that um, metallic uh, aspect uh, in this little square i tried to the, the first row is just the the dmc with two threads this is a 14 aida um which is fantastic <laughs> it's a commercial break we love aida in this house <laughs> because sometimes it's um you know like this um bad word you know like oh if you stitch in aida you are not a you know a good stitcher no 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 <laughs> aida it's a fantastic fabric so yeah we love Aida. And in this case, I stitch in the first row, um, you know, just the, the crosses with two with two threads of DMC. In the second row, I blended one thread of DMC and one thread of this filament, you know, blue. And you can see the, the different effect that uh, you can achieve with blending the, the colors. And this last row is just the filament, which is really, really thin. Perhaps in some um, projects you like to have this effect, you know, very transparent. So you can use just the, the filament alone. And in the last uh, row, I blend one DMC and the, the silver uh, filament. So I, I try to achieve uh, um, the, the original color with a metallic uh, aspect. So this is the, the silver, just the stitch it alone. So it's really, really transparent. But imagine all the combination you can achieve with a few um, metallic colors, perhaps just a silver, uh, a white and a golden, and you can blend an orange with a silver or a orange DMC with um, a, a golden uh, metallic and you can achieve that uh, really pretty metallic uh, orangey <laughs> color. So yeah, sometimes we can use all, all these materials that we can get in order to, to complete our project um, and changing and making the project um, our own. Um, we can play with our possibilities and with creativity and trying to enjoy this adventure. Uh, there is no cross-stitch police, <laughs> believe me, <laughs> I would know it because I make so many mistakes and so many things that they are not, not supposed to, to be like that <laughs> and nobody came to my house. <laughs> so if I do whatever I want with my stitching and there is no police, <laughs> uh, you know, in my door. You can do whatever you want. So yeah, this is my, my video. I will continue with this beautiful uh, fairy, Mexican fairy, and trying to, to finish these this, uh, wings. I need to finish this one because I'm really <laughs> not enjoying the... the 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 stitching with the, the filament and the DMC, N not because it doesn't look right or anything, but because they are, you know, bulky <laughs> crosses, and I like my my crosses more thin. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, this is my my video for today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your family, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.